guys welcome to my kitchen um, I did a Facebook post yesterday and I got quite a few questions on it about storing dry goods in mason jars for long-term storage and so I wanted to do a video I told some of you I'd do a video today and so I want to do a video and share with you some of my tips for um, storing beans rice sugar flour um, some different things so anyway um, you have to have really dry jars so I usually run my jars through the dishwasher but then I rinse them because I don't want any soap residue in it and I towel dry them but after I towel dry them I leave them out on the counter for a little bit so that they'll air dry really good because you do not want moisture in there at all um, I do the same with my lids and rings and get them very dry so that I don't have any moisture in there um, then let me let's see there's certain things grains uh, rice beans that I'm going to adjust my camera here I don't know if you can still see me that are better put in the freezer for 24 to 48 hours so that if there's any bug eggs or anything in there I mean they get it you've had weevils uh, break out in your pantry I'm sure um, it kills them so there won't be any problem with that and I like to do that uh, with anything that beans rice grains anything like that before I put them in my jars so that um, I don't have any issues with that I like to make everything uh, I like it to ha have as long a term storage as possible so anyway I do that then I bring them out of the freezer and I let them come up to room temperature because I don't want the moisture from transferring it from the freezer to the room temperature so I let everything get back up to room temperature and then you can let them sit on your counter until you're ready to do it for a couple days if you need to um, I want to talk to you first about flour um, I have flour here and you'll notice I have white flour and I'm not a real big advocate of white flour I usually like whole grains because they're healthier but if you're doing long-term food storage anything the whole grains brown rice the things that contain more oils will not have the shelf life that white flour or white sugar or anything have or white rice because they have more oils in them and the oils will turn rancid much faster so if you're storing for long term um, you do better to store white flour in um, white rice and that kind of thing so anyway I just wanted to mention that so that you didn't store whole grain because I would rather have whole grain um, I don't even like to use white flour very often but if it's all you've got that's what you'll use and um, storing for long term is kind of something that we do for if you know like we had earlier this year there was you know a shortage of everything at the store so it's always good to be prepared um, we try to keep things in the house so that if we need something we'll have it on hand and uh, if there's a shortage at the store it doesn't devastate us so anyway um, okay I ordered these little oxygen absorber packets from Amazon I ordered 50 but and this is really important mine came which I didn't know to do when I ordered them but mine came in packets of 10 and that is so much better than if you I would have ordered them and they all would have been 50 in a packet because once you open this they're going to start absorbing oxygen so it's important that I have my jars like I do here already let me show you uh, I have flour beans um, or beans I actually have pasta in some as well and it's important that you have your jars ready because once you open this you're going to want to put them in your jars as soon as possible so um, I'm gonna open this and put them in the tops of my jars these actually look like little plastic things but they're not they will absorb the oxygen I did a batch the other day and my lids pop just like they would if I was you know canning something in a pressure canner or a hot water bath so that was kind of exciting I mean I suppose they should but I hadn't thought about it so as the lids started popping that made me excited that they had sealed so anyway let's get on we're gonna cut this open and right as soon as I cut it open I want to start putting them in my jars and like I said there's 
10 here, you need to leave room in the top of your jar so that you have room to put this little packet in. I dropped a bean. There's a... I've done some with pasta here because, um, you know, pasta keeps pretty good in the bags it comes in. But if you want to store it in a pantry in your basement or something, um, those packets are not mouse proof. I try not to have a mouse, but it would devastate me if all of a sudden I found out that a mouse had eaten all my food that I had stored because, well, mice are hungry too, right? Okay, as soon as you get those in, it's important to get those lids snapped on and tighten them all down. And you can store tea bags. Um, I have wide mouth and small mouth, so. But um, you can store you can store tea bags. You can store what else? You can store all kinds of things in jars, um, and tighten these down pretty tight. I actually have the wrong one on this. This one's labeled powder sugar. I had already previously labeled mine, so. But uh, once you seal the lids down, you want to not take it off unless you're once. Once the jar is sealed, you don't want to open it unless you're going to break the seal and use it because then it will add oxygen to it and your shelf life will be shortened. So you can see these are now in their little jars. Um, this is pinto beans and pinto beans will last a lot longer if you do this. Um, so it's always important to label and put a date on your jars so you'll know when you can them because we all think we'll remember. But once you start doing this, and uh, you might forget because I do. So anyway, um, that I wanted to share that with you. I had some questions on that. It's real easy to do. Order these off of Amazon. The packet I ordered actually came with Mylar bags. I decided not to use those because um, I wanted to use jars. I like glass, I don't like plastic, and uh, I didn't want to use the Mylar because, um, and you know, sometimes glass is hard to come by right now, glass mason jars. But I did find a whole bunch on uh, Mark, Facebook Marketplace. So if you, you know, there's usually a lot of people who want to get rid of jars too. And honestly, any jar can clean up. I remember when I was a little girl, my grandma, told, my grandma told me that she actually went to the dump back during the Depression days and got her jars. And once you sterilize them, scald them, boil them and everything, they're okay. So anyway, I don't go to the dump to get my jars. I actually bought these. But I'm just saying, there's all kinds of places you can get them. And I did get some off a of marketplace. So anyway, I hope that helps you. If it helps you, please um, subscribe to my channel. I've got some other videos coming out. I'm going to do one on how to make elderberry juice. And I've got some coming out where I'm going to take you into my garden. So anyway, blessings.